anti-Semitism in Europe, uh, it's on the increase, dramatically so. Mm -hmm. Are you surprised? And what's behind it? Behind it, there are so many things. First of all, we must never ignore that Europe has been an anti-Semitic continent. It, it was not only Germany and Italy that had anti-Semitic laws. Are you saying it's always been there, but just under the surface, and now it's coming to the forefront? Yes, but this is not the only reason. There are many, there are many different reasons. And I would not disconnect the, the contemporary anti-Semitism uh, from what I call Israelophobia. There are the, these two things now they go, to, go together and I want to tell you that this is the real point. Why is it the real point? Because Europe never avoided fighting anti-Semitism anti after the Second World War. If you go and look at the school programs, uh, at the at, uh, trips of the youngsters uh, uh, to Auschwitz or Buchenwald, you will find that the numbers are huge. If you look at the Museum of the Holocaust that have been built in several capital towns of, of Europe, you will see that they are very many. Nobody ignored this, but memory is not enough. It's contemporary history that tells us that anti-Semitism has to be fought on another level. Nowadays, it has absolutely to be connected with this Israelophobia. Now, what does this Israelophobia come from then to understand why anti-Semitism has been growing so much in these last years? Um, well, the reasons are many. Uh, there is an opportunistic reason, so a, a good relationship with the Muslim uh, um, growing uh, uh, immigration to Europe. There are countries, Italy is not one of them, but France, for instance, is one of them. Uh, and Holland and, uh, you know, plenty of countries, uh, even England, um, that now is not part of the European Union anymore. But still, all of these countries uh, have, had, uh, have, have uh, witnessed a, a, a growing of the, not only of the numbers, but also of the political presence of the Muslim uh, uh, population that has always been going through an Islamist transformation, very, very aggressive one, and also on the other side toward the, the affirmation that Europe suffers of Islamophobia, which is an attack that Europe cannot stand because of the reason I'm going to talk about now. You, mm, uh, the other reason uh, of this Israelophobia connected to anti-Semitism is uh, rooted into the, into the deepest meaning of the European Union. Why was the European Union born? It was born to destroy borders, uh, to overcome ethnic and religious identities. Why that? Because they thought that this will bring again to a war of terrible proportions like the one that Europe had just gone through. Now, what is Israel in the eyes of Europe? Israel is a country with borders, that defends its borders, that is, uh, is in, in, a, in, in a very deep search of roots, identity, and also has a very strong religious drive, even if the population is, of course, not all religious, but still. Not only this, Israel is all the time at war. War is a word that Europe cannot stand. They will never understand, even if you are only defending yourself, why you fight. Europe would prefer to do anything but war. And you can see this also in the way it's afraid to put up a serious defense about the terrorism that is now plaguing the European capitals. They also... Uh, as a consequence, don't understand the war of Israel against terrorism. And this is a real point, because, you know, Israel can save Europe with its teaching, its attitude, its good will of the population to fight the terrorism. Europe must learn from Israel, and Europe is not ready for that. But I think that they will understand, that they are understanding. Look, I was very surprised. Now, uh, during the, the visit of Netanyahu uh, to Africa, 
I read that Kenyatta in Kenya, the president, Ken president Kenyatta, told Netanyahu, we would be crazy not to be in, in a good relationship nowadays with Israel. We need so much its help against the, the, the terrorism that is plaguing Africa nowadays. Well, it was surprising that Africa understood this before Europe, that should be so advanced in thinking, and it's not. Uh, you can see how much the movement against Israel, like BDS, now I'm speaking on a popular side, on an intellectual side, in the in academy, among uh, the extreme left, among the population, and now with the new phenomenon of the extreme right that is growing in Europe, anti-Semitism and anti-Israelianism is growing everywhere, unfortunately, even if I have noticed that there are people that are start understanding how the real things uh, are. And I hope for these islands of sympathy, which are very many, to grow in importance uh, to, to give Europe the sense that Europe has to face a new, a new phase of its life. Europe was brave, was good to institute the European Union, which was not called like this, it was, uh, there were different stages, but at the time when it was a need to overcome borders and the sit situations that could bring to war, right? Now it must be brave enough to understand the mistakes that it has done and the crisis that is going through and it's, uh, uh, and it's breaking the unity of Europe itself.